right back out. What have we got tonight? Kayak. So, it's been El Scorchio all day. So I've got the kayak, the hammock. Uh, we're going to go and do a different stretch of the river down. So, I'm going to go a good kind of walk. Uh, carry it kind of a good distance up the river. Uh, then I'm going to get it pumped up. And then we're going to hit the water. So, as always, stay tuned. Right, that's us walked, I don't know, a couple of miles up the river. That's a good thing about this kayak I've got. It's a Sevilla Riviera, I think it is, I've got. Inflatable. Basically, turns into a kind of, it's got kind of rucksack straps on it. So you just strap it to your back and basically carry it to where you're going. So, I wouldn't mind a, maybe a Canadian canoe eventually, but right now, that does the job. So, I'm going to get it rolled out, I'm going to get it pumped up, we're going to get in, and then we're going to cruise. This is it, obviously deflated, but you can get the wee hand pump for it. Obviously if you're next to a car or something you can, you can get the electric pumps. I think you can even buy these uh, kind of handheld portable electric pumps as well, but I'm just going to put a bit of elbow grease into it. and. Uh, pump it up with a hand pump, so it doesn't take long, it only takes about 10 minutes or something but as soon as I get that ready I'm getting in that river oh, tremendous tremendous load up so, that's a two man uh, comes with two, two different seats Obviously I'm just in it myself, so I'm just going to pump the one seat up, I don't really need the other one. But the reason I got a two man, because uh, obviously if you're going to be going somewhere with all your gear, and my rucksack with all my gear on it, fits in there, just perfect. So, I'm going to uh, get this in the water, and uh, get paddling. Here we go. Folks, we're off. See you. Right, so, that's us, we're off. Oh, I can't beat us, can you? Cannot beat it. Oh, this is a life. So, I'm just gonna float down the river. Absolutely immense. Ah, oh, this is the life. So, first time I've, I've been out this stretch. But as you can see, totally deserted. But we've just had a rock. You can't beat us, can you? Ah, oh, whole river to myself. Pure heaven. And that's a good thing. If you've been going down river. Ah, oh, you hardly even need to paddle. Just go with the flow. So, I think, eh... Uh, Big Stu's got one of these, uh, Sports Wanderer, and Bugsy, he's just, he's just invested in one. So, I reckon there's going to be a, there's a few kayak camps coming, I think. 
Oh, this is the business. Absolute business. I do quite fancy do, doing a big kind of quite a long camp, a long river camp at some point. I've just really been doing like kind of different stretches, uh, just to kind of see where all the kind of good bits are. Uh, but that's me checked out a few sections now, so I know where the good spots, know where the shallow bits are. To be honest, there's no. There's no rapids or anything in this river. There's a couple of kind of weirs at points, but I wouldn't be going down that in this. But right now, oh, I'm just, just enjoying this. Tremendous. So, comments below. Who fancies one of these? Huh? I can't tell either. Great. There we are. And I'm pretty lucky, because this river's just at my back door. So I can literally walk down to the house, go this my back, and go off paddle. But I've got the... I've got my hammock with me and all, so... I'll maybe stop halfway down. And uh, stick the hammock up. Why not, eh? Why not? But I don't know if I said in my last video, I'm gonna go a gonna go a beach camp at the weekend. Uh, just I've not done a beach camp in a wee while, so I don't know what the weather's gonna be like, but fingers crossed. I can I checked. I think it's gonna be sunny for most of the night and then maybe kind of rain later on. But we'll worry about that. We'll worry about that at the time. But anyway, it's only about rain. Whereas today, what's been scorching today? Absolutely scorching. But, I can see a wee kind of rapid bit up ahead. So I'm going to turn this round. Let's get down it. Right. So, we're going to have to judge this. Get right through, I don't know if you can make that out my camera. There's a, there's a kind of boulder to the left, so you want to try and avoid that. Right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Woohoo! Absolutely, an able that. So what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to kind of set a, a rapids down here, but I'm going to, I normally kind of camp over the right hand side of this, but because I've got the kayak tonight, I'm going to, I'm going to find the wee spot on the left hand side, and basically stick, stick the hammer up. Right, here's another set of rapids, here we go. I'm saying rapids, they're not really rapids are they? But well, we're going to find a spot kind of further down where we can get the hammer cut. So I was walking up here earlier on, I've seen a kind of cut out, kind of chair out, a tree stump. I'm not sure exactly where it is. A couple of these kind of shallow bits about here. Oh, I 
So, I'm just trying to find a wee, a wee spot with a decent freeze I can have a hammock so That's a good thing about this, this kayak. Yeah, maybe you can't see a lot about one side. Uh, you've always got the, the rubber section of the other side of the, the river you can get to. For that here, but it's in there. Nothing really. Oh, we're well, flying down there. Can he beat it? Right, I'm just going to look up there. And I reckon it's not a good spot. I'll we'll keep going, will we? We'll keep going. In fact, I reckon just a little bit up this bit up here. Seeing that, I'll we'll get, I don't even know if we'll get my, my hammock down about those real pretty big kind of tree trunks. Even though that, back, that one there looks quite good, but it's right over the water, so I don't know how I'm going to get hung over the top of that. I could just keep going, will we? We'll keep going. Right, what I really want to do is can I get over that, mate? Right. I think it's slightly deeper over this side. I'll be honest, I don't even know if I'll put the hammock up. I might even just go over that other side. I know I've seen a wee, there's, a, there's definitely a bench over there somewhere. I'm just trying to remember what spot it was. I know the last time I was down here, I've seen it. So I'll probably, I think it's just out around, around this kind of bend section. So I'm just gonna, I think we'll just go up, we'll beach over, just over this section here. I'm sure that bench is over there. Probably sleeping. Right, that's us it. So I know there's a I'm sure there's a bench somewhere up here. I'm just gonna have a wee look. There it is. So I can make that out. I don't know, there's obviously there's a farmer's field up here. Uh, I'm gonna get a seat in this bench. Hey, right, that's us. Sat down. Have a wee breather. A wee can of, wee can of Sprite. Absolutely sweltering today. Absolutely sweltering. <sighs> can't beat it though, can you? Can't beat the good weather. Even though I'm longing for a snow camp. 
but I've got a few months to go before we get that, fingers crossed. But things are starting to open up, they're opening up now a wee bit more, aren't they? I think the five mile rules getting lifted, uh, so we'll be able to go a bit further afield. Definitely a, a, a Glencoe trip or a, up the west coast somewhere. That's definitely on the cards. But tonight, I'm just floating down the river. Loving the dream. Ah, oh, well. I wasn't going to get the hammer cut, but can how it is. I'm just going to sit for a while. Sit and relax. Sit and chill, chilling like a villain. But that's a good thing about the hammock. Just fling it up. And sit back. So, the hammock, I've got my... It's my DD hammock I've got. Or one of my DD hammocks I've got with me tonight. This is a kind of older one I've got. But it's quite good just for I just chuck it in a bag and... I can bring it with me. Uh, it's not my favourite. Favourite's uh, the Hennessy hammock. That's by far my favourite hammock. Out of all the ones I've got. But as tent wise, it's definitely that hex hot tent just now. Uh, especially now that I've got that titanium stove as well. Brilliant. But as the weekend, uh, going to beach camp, but I'm going to take my, my wee mountain tent, my wee husky tent. Husky Flame 2, I think it's called. Yeah, because I can just strap that to my rucksack. So we can walk along to the bit that the camps are. I'm not taking anything too heavy. I'm going to go reasonably lightweight. And I've heard, oh, so Bugsy tells me he's cooking the burgers. So he's cooking the burgers this, uh, this weekend. Nice one, Bugsy. Uh, and I'm getting the cakes. So, it's usually Bugs who gets the cream cakes. No, no, this week he's doing the burgers. I'm getting the cream cakes. So, I need to do that justice because Bugsy, he always brings some good cream cakes. Last week he'd put chocolate clears, apple turnovers. He always brings these uh, kind of chocolate shoe buns with cream and all that inside them. <laughs> so, I'll need to get to the bakers and get a wee selection, I think. But right now, just sitting back to relax and I'll show you my view. Sitting back, lying in my hammock, staring up at the sky, watching the sun go down, down by the river. So, I could be sitting on that bench, but there's something about hammock, far comfier. Uh, the kayaks are way down at the site, well, hopefully it's still there or else I'm stuck and I'm swimming across. The kayak's doing that embankment. As I'm just sitting here. I can see uh, there's a big crowd of young unions kind of further down the river. Must be about 20 of them. It looks after they're all jumping in the water. I can mind the days when I used to do that. Even just, see just on the other side, there used to be a, I'm talking when I was probably about 18, used to be a, used to be a big rope swing off one of the big oak trees. Used to swing right out over the river and jump in. But, I'm too old for that now. Well, I I'm never too old. But, I'm not dead at the night, that's for sure. I'm just going to sit back and relax. Oh, I'll tell you, I just, I could actually just go to sleep. I could actually just stay here the night, couldn't I? I even thought, uh, I've done it before, I took the, took the hammock out. Not the hammock, the, the kayak. I was in the Galloway Forest one night and I, I just took the kayak and a tarp. I, I'm sure I've got a video of that on my channel somewhere. Uh, slept, just slept in the, the kayak for the night. With the tarp over the top, I'll tell you. It was well comfy. So, I think I've done that twice. Four times at a secret cabin I know about. 
and I'll, I'll be honest, I slept in the kayak that night as well. Not for every day, but I love it. I just love being outdoors. There's something about it. As I always say, it's good for the soul. Ah, just pure relaxing, that it really is. So, you need to get yourself out there. Get out in the great outdoors. Ah, right, I think I've let, I've, I've let here long enough. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this hammock down, get back in the kayak, and paddle back. So let's get at it. Right, where did I put it? Your eyes down here. So the sun's starting to get down, so that's it. Just gonna get back in the kayak, start heading back. Right, back in the water. So let's head home. Out of the water, kayak packed, time to head home. So, enjoyed this wee video, as always, hit the like button, uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that wee bell for future notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Adios. Mm -hmm.